the Pentagon was killing people. No, which bullets this time, but which worse? Take a look at these posts. Chinese vaccines contain pork gelatin. They might even be rat killers. Accepting Chinese vaccines equates to relinquishing sovereignty. Chinese medical supplies are fake. At first glance, these look like individual posts from Filipinos, Central Asians, Arabs. But in fact, they were all disinformation planted by the Pentagon, as revealed by Reuters. From the spring of 2020 to your mid-2021, amid the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, the US military orchestrated an extensive online disinformation campaign targeting citizens across Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Central Asia. Fake accounts were set up, false information was spread, all while people were dying. We weren't looking at this from a public health perspective. We are looking at how we could drag China through the mud, remarked one senior US military officer. The campaign was particularly aggressive in the Philippines, a strategic location for the US to counter China. At least 300 fake accounts on X were created to dissuade Filipinos from accepting the first vaccine available in the country, China's Sinovac. The Philippines is the second worst hit country behind Indonesia in Southeast Asia. An alarming trend in vaccine hesitancy in the Philippines. The Pentagon did not deny the movement, saying it was to counter adversary Malay influence. Essentially, it meant no tactic was off limits to contain China, even at the cost of human lives. Very subtle subversion. That's what makes the whole thing so scary. You don't expect the Americans to be doing this stuff. Well, quite the contrary. The U.S. government has a history of doing such stuff. Donald Trump had authorized the Central Intelligence Agency to launch a covert operation targeting Chinese social media, aiming to sway public opinion against the government. The U.S. government allows immigration services to use fake social media accounts to monitor people seeking to enter the country. And it's called Operation Earnest Voice. It was a $200 million deal to uh, create these uh, sock puppets. By orchestrating a public health disinformation campaign, the Pentagon has jeopardized lives and even caused death in pursuit of geopolitical advantages. Who will be held accountable? How many such campaigns are still ongoing against China? We don't know, and we should know.